Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Couponing. This is Splint Rose. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to get my uh, phone set. Okay, I think I got it set. I went to the Dollar Tree today and bought up a lot of items. Let me just start because I have a lot of stuff here, okay? Bought some dog treats. So far, I've given Max two of these. Now remember, this is the Dollar Tree. I've given him two of these already. He's still staying here looking for more. So he likes them. This is uh, what they look like, okay? I bought a bag, a, a pack of fake bars. I ate two and they are good. I think that's, oh, this one tells you to only eat one cookie, but I ate two. Then the other items that I bought here, I bought the uh, Cheerios. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was three coupons that I used for that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I used five coupons and it took a dollar off. So for 10 packs of these, I paid um, one dollar for each one. Yeah, one instead of paying two dollars, I paid one dollar for each. One dollar for two, instead of it being a dollar each, I paid a dollar for two. So I bought. That's what I bought, and um, and you know who they're for. They're for my grandkids, right? <laughs> and I bought some more of the Benefit. Uh, Originals Dog Foods. I bought uh, four of these. I bought four. They are a dollar a piece. And I said, let me try these. This one had so much in it. This is a gourmet dog food. I'm just going to try to see if Max likes it. So I bought um, two of these. Only two. I only bought two of these. And then I saw the food for cats. Now, uh, my granddaughter has a cat, so uh, I said I'm gonna buy these for her. So I bought uh, four packages of these. Three, I bought four packs. I'm gonna uh, send those to her uh, in the mail or send them by my other son. Then I bought two bottles of this bleach. This bleach is it's called Awesome. Now, the other Awesome product that they have, it does work good. So, I bought two bottles of these and um, the other bottle is over there. Okay, I'll be back with the rest. Okay, give me, I'll be right back. Hey guys, how are you? This is an, um, the next part of my um, Dollar Tree haul. These are some of the items that I bought. And I just want you to take a look, get your good look at it, because I'm gonna tell you about it right now. I saw this um, Red Bird Peppermint Candy Puffs. This is a kind that's not so hard. So I bought two bags of these. They were a dollar piece, as you know. And I'm going to, um, it's a lot of sugar in these. Look at the sugar, sugar content. It's like 30 grams of sugar. That's so much sugar. How many pieces? Oh, that's for six pieces. I would only be eating one at a time, not six. Anyway, I bought some nice soil. I bought some more of that. I bought four containers of it. And it says that you can make up to eight, oh, five gallons. If you, uh, you know, use it with water, this is concentrated. It's a little small one. I bought the um, Ajax dis dish detergent as well. I bought four of them. I bought this tape. This is uh, that good tape. It's uh, duct tape that you can use on packages that you have to mail. I bought two more bonnets. Maintain your style. These are uh, hair bonnets. I bought two. I bought these two. Um, freshness for your car and I saw these as I was leaving 
Okay, this here, as you know, these are for your microwave oven. It's a uh, covering over your plate. It's a plate cover, and it's for the microwave oven. So I bought four of those. I figured I could, we could use them. And these are the tops for these other microwave bowls that I got. I thought they were cute. They were really nice. You could put down, uh, put your meal in this, uh, your food, whatever you're going to be eating. You can put it in here. And so I bought four of them. I thought they were really cute. Look at that. It's a nice little bowl. It looks big, but it's not big. It's a nice little size, and that goes on top of it. So that's the next part of my haul. I'll be back with my other haul that you'll see in its toys. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, hi, I'm back. This is my next haul. I got to show you these things. Oh, my God, they're awesome. Bought some books. Bought these Crush Glow Pets. I bought these Tic Tacs, x rays and it's baby items, and this uh, little toy machine. All right, let me just see. Um, let me start with the baby items. I bought a teething ring for my new great-granddaughter. I'm having um, my second great-grandchild is going to be born, and it's going to be a girl. So I'm buying this teething ring ahead of time for her. Put it in the bag. I bought a Passy pacifier. What's the warning? Do not tie pacifier around the child's neck as it presents a strangulation danger. Oh, please, don't tie that around the baby's neck. I bought this little spoon and fork set for her. Put this little socks. I thought they were so cute. Look at that. There's two pair of socks. I bought this um, diaper disposable bag. You can put the little poo poo stuff in there. Put that. I saw these uh, Tic Tacs when I was uh, leaving the store. You know how they have everything up there in, at the cashier, and you'll be seeing stuff when you're leaving. So I bought these. These are nice, right? So I bought four of these. I saw these Crush Pets. They're Jiggly Pals. And you see them? They're cute. And they're something that you can squeeze. I know that's what it's for. You can squeeze them. I bought two packages of them. Give them to the kids. I have so much stuff for the kids. I saw these little robots. Look at it. And it's, um, the pieces are snappable. Uh, you could snap them out and snap them back in. So I bought this color, the black and gold with red. I bought this color, the red, blue, and black. And I bought this color, the green, white, and black. So I bought three of them. I give them to uh, the little kids. And it's nice to be able to take it loose, like how you do Legos, to take them loose and put it, put it back together. And I bought this little letter rip sound machine. It's a machine that lets it rip, and it said it makes six sounds. And, oh, did I pull that out? Okay, yeah, I did. I'm going to show you how it works. It says to try me. So what I did was I took the little, um, that little white strip out of the back, not of, of the blue one, but of the um, this yellow one. And so let's see if we can hear what it says. Oh, it's so low, you can hardly hear it. It's, it makes sounds, but it's very low. And pull this tab. It could be because, um, you know, oh, because it's all confined still in the plastic. I don't know if that's what it is. But it makes sounds. It's something for the kids to do. You know what? No, I'm not going to put that back in. I'm just going to put that away. 
And I'm going to show you the um, books that I bought because I got a lot of books. Um, all right. And believe it or not, I bought these books for my grandkids. The Summer Cooking, um, Summer Cooking Made Simple. All right. And if you look in here, you see that it's simple things that can be cooked. The kids can cook them. I see nice pictures. And here's cooking for kids made simple. Let's see what's in here. There's tomato soup. Let's see. Sandwiches. Fried. Okay. You got stuff in there that they can cook. Yeah. You see that? See those pictures? Nice pictures. So it's stuff in there. So I bought two of each book. And I have in in the, in the family. I sent one to my um oh my son in California's boy J Funk, and I'm gonna send this one to Abraham because uh, Abraham is in Kwame's family. Abraham likes to cook. He's um he must be fourteen. Abraham is fourteen. He likes to cook. So I'm gonna send him those books, and then I saw this one, and I don't know who I'm gonna give it to. I keep it for myself. Look at that on the cover. Doesn't that look delicious? Please. Look, they got some good stuff that you can cook in here. Look at the pictures. Look at that sandwich. I mean, it looks really good. Look at that. That's blackened shrimp with tomatoes. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. I like, I like cheesy stuff. That's a bacon-crusted Hawaiian pizza. Wow, bacon. I don't know if I want all that bacon in it. Pan-fried Cajun bass. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Lamb chops. That looks good. Chicken nuggets with spicy uh, tomato dripping dipping sauce. That looks good, too. Ooh, that looks good. Buffalo chicken sliders. That looks really good. <laughs> so, but some nice things in here that you can cook. I don't know. I might keep that book for myself. But this is what I'm also really excited about. These things here. Now, these are like cards that you can send out. And this one says, follow your dreams. They know the way. And you look inside and there's um, this written in. It says, strive not to be a a success, but rather to be a value. And Albert Einstein wrote that. Oh, that's one of his sayings. And then it says, two, word, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That's Robert Frost. And here's a envelope to, ma to mail it in. And uh, it, it's a good, it's a gift that you can send to somebody. It says the gift book features a unique collection of inspirational quotes to share with your friends and loved ones. All right, so I, I thought that was awesome. So I bought two of the same ones. Then I, I got this one here, and it says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And that was a uh, saying by Eleanor Roosevelt. You open it up. Just let me just open it. All right. You open it up and it says something else inside. Every great dream begins with a dream. And always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And on this side it says, yes, I am a dreamer. For a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight, and his punishment is that he sees the dawn before the rest of the world. That is so true for those that dream. And then this one is called Pathways, and it says, If the path be beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. And that one is Anatole France. You know, nice sayings that they got for people. And it says, the journey is the reward. That's a Chinese proverb. And it says, it is good to have an end to journey. Uh, uh, it is good to have an end to journey toward. But it is the journey that matters in the end. And that's Ursula K. 
Okay. Lagoon. That's nice. I, I, I thought that was really nice. So I got that one. Then it's one on faith. Let's see what it says about faith. It says, believe you can and you're halfway there. Eleanor, uh, I mean, Theodore Roosevelt. And this, this one says, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Just keep going because you're going to finish if you keep going. That's, that's Confucius. And so I, I bought a lot of them. Do more of what makes you happy. Uh, he who plants a tree plants a hope. Nice. This one, uh, Pathways. I talk about Pathways. I think I just read that one. And another one on faith. I don't I love these. I absolutely love these. So that's why I bought so many. But I could, as I look at each one, I could think about who I want to give it to. All right, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be giving them, uh, giving them out, mailing them uh, to family and friends. All right. Okay. I thought these were were lovely. If you want, better go on and get you uh, get yours. They're over in the section where the books and things are. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me. Remember, have fun shopping. Don't forget subscribe. Thumbs up this video, press the notification button, share the video with somebody, and I will see you in the next video. I love you much, guys. Bye-bye.